It's 3 a.m. I just finished the vlog. It's pretty light out. It never really gets dark. <laughs> the sun comes up in the northeast and it goes down in the northwest. So that's directly north. <laughs> Crazy, huh? Hello, bear watchers. Because <laughs> this will be the new one, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is the beginning of a, the middle of the week. <laughs> because this will be Sunday's vlog. <laughs> so, so hi, bear watchers. We're back. <laughs> I've, I've had a migraine all day, so I'm like, uh. But <laughs> Trying to survive. Yeah, yeah. It's a whole ordeal. Have you played a free? Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm really... currently doing something. <laughs> Settle she's, down. She can't do two things at once, apparently. But we we went to Prospectors to try and find Heather some Carhartts because her work pants are starting to wear out, and we figured the Carhartts would last her longer, even if you're paying a little bit more money. Yeah, especially with my thighs. <laughs> so they have they have what she needs here, and the pants that she really likes with all the pockets, mm -hmm. you know, the Carhartts. But um, they currently don't have her size, and they haven't gotten their spring order in yet. So, so they should have them soon, hopefully. Yeah. Maybe I can call and get somebody because the people that are here kind of new. It sounds like nobody knows anything. <laughs> They're yeah. Maybe I can email and I'll get like a, a manager or something that knows when the orders are coming in. Yeah. Uh, there's other ways to do these things. <laughs> yeah, we're going to head down the road and hit the Asian market. Because now Heather has a refrigerator in her room. She wants to get some treats. <laughs> yes. I just want to see if they have any of those milk teas, like the canned ones that have the boba in them. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think I've seen them there before. If not, it'd be yeah. cool to just try it. Yeah. They have those frozen yeah. ones, too. And also remember, there's more than one Oriental market, so depending on which one. Uh, yeah, I haven't seen those over at the the other one, the actual Asian this, market. Asian market. This mm. one here has a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah they one, do. This one's got a lot. So I guess we'll find out. Yeah, we'll head over there. I 
Are you taking a video? Yeah. Should I talk about oh, C and J's? I don't know. <laughs> Place it's a place here. that we probably haven't been to in two years. We used to come here with friends all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Like Gipping Carmen. Yep. <laughs> so, so if you're watching this, Gipping Carmen, <laughs> when, you, when are you going to come visit us again? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Screech, and there was a truck out there. <laughs> I got a clam strip basket. It comes with horseradish and uh, tartar, tartar? Tartar sauce. Yeah, tartar sauce. And cocktail. Okay, okay. <laughs> I don't even know. It tastes like horseradish. And you got... Patty melt. Patty melt. We've got some zucchini strips. And heather has got a cheesesteak. Get back with those waters. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. It's brand for if you need It is pretty sunny and warm outside today, so I turned this fan on for the doggies because they were kind of panting after I was playing with them outside. <laughs> I think Kip's enjoying it. Bean's way over there though. She needs her own little fan. <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny. Oh. Look at that blue sky out there. There's little blips of black clouds everywhere. But there's hardly any birds left over here at Creamers. You can see a few out there. There's couple of cranes and a couple of Canadian goose and and there's these white geese duck looking things they're awful big for ducks they're probably geese yeah. my phone won't zoom up that close on them <laughs> oh my gosh it's always the hair you know what I watched this video last night on the curly girl method I'm gonna try some of the things. I, from the way it sounds, this curly girl method is like, there's probably 50 different methods out there. But um, yeah, I think I'm gonna try it and see if I can tame some of this stuff. <laughs> All the frizz. Yeah, and most of the most of the girls with the you know frizzy hair like mine, it sounds like they only wash their hair once a week. Which is kind of, I used to be really good about washing my hair every other day, but since I've gotten older, I wash it twice a week, but all winter, you know, I get behind and, and, uh, it got down to where I am. I'm only washing it once a week, you know, and it's up. So, and it's, you know, less breakage and less hair loss and stuff if I wash it, you know, I don't know. Mary's here with me. Hi. <laughs> she didn't put any makeup on today. I was really she, contemplating and, it. And she's she's angry because she hasn't been getting out in the sun, so she's so she looks like a ghost compared to me. Hi. <laughs> so she doesn't like to sit next to me when she's all ghosty looking like. <laughs> I also just like I have naturally like pale green undertones in my face and stuff so like when I'm not wearing makeup I just feel like I look like a zombie or like I'm sick or something. I have like kind of like green under my eyes and stuff. I think she looks like <laughs> I think my glasses help cover it up a little bit. Oh, look that crane's walking over here on this side. Uh, she brought her good camera to see if we can get any good pictures. Uh, so I I think we're just gonna go drive around for a little while because it's so pretty outside and I'm still not walking too good because of my knees so we want to at least get outdoors and enjoy the the weather might be good that we're not walking around because the, the pollen my <laughs> my car is covered with pollen <laughs> it's pretty thick be right back. <laughs> <laughs> go take some more pictures 
we're gonna look for some rainbows because this time of year we see a lot of rainbows because of the, there's little blips of rain clouds and the, and the sun is low enough you can see all right we'll go drive around Mary got out to take some pictures and there's like a tooth mold <laughs> sitting there. <laughs> Weird. But yeah, we're up at the university and this time of day the sun shines on the mountains really pretty. So she's going to try to get some good pictures. The biggest mountains are covered with clouds right now. Darn it. Still pretty though. I should have had my steady focus on clouds are pretty. No rainbows. So we are being pretty consistent about Thursday nights being movie nights. Mm -hmm. Tonight we watched two movies and Heather, or Mary, Mary looked outside Heather. <laughs> if I could get their names straight, I'd be okay. Hey. <laughs> but Mary looked outside and, and she said, is it getting lighter outside? <laughs> I said, well... It's 1.30 in the morning, and it tends to do that when it gets closer to morning. <laughs> we watched Big Miracle, finally. Somebody suggested it. Yeah, that's a really good movie. And then Heather was all obsessed with us wanting to watch The Mitchells and the Machines. So we watched that, too. We didn't plan to stay up this late. Oh, uh, but the Mitchells and the Machines is too funny not to watch the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, we were going to watch half and then watch the other half tomorrow. Uh, it didn't work that way. <laughs> so, we're going to bed at 1.30 in the morning. When it's still light outside. <laughs> Good night. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. But she probably was probably been what five years maybe. Yeah, mom just said it's probably been five years since we've been here. <laughs> Hello, it's Saturday. <laughs> I can't get my eyes straight here. <laughs> I'm having a weird morning. I'm kind of off. We're hoping that um, once we do what we're going to do, it'll kind of reset her system. <laughs> so anyway, what are we doing today, Mom? <laughs> we're going to the blood bank. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if that's a blood bank flag. Can you see it? Yeah. It is. Oh, kind excuse of. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> I got burpee stuff going on there. I'm trying to eat too fast. But yeah, we're here. We have like four <laughs> minutes until we should go inside because that's our appointment time. And um, I've been just wanting to give blood since forever because <laughs> I, I got, I gave blood at like, they had one of those donation trucks, van things. Yeah, in the summer 2019. Yeah, it was on Fort Rainwright um, at a fire station because they were doing like a, a hot dog grill out kind of family thing. And... Yeah. Mom's boyfriend life works on base, so we all went out there, and I was like, why not give blood for the first time? Right. <laughs> and I did, and it was, like, great. So now I'm in the system, and I keep getting emails all the time, and they're like, we need your blood. <laughs> so I was <laughs> like, well, I, I mm -hmm. need to figure out when I can go. <laughs> and we were hoping to go together, so we finally found a time, and that is today. <laughs> yeah, and I haven't given blood in forever, because I... I tried several, several years in a row, and they wouldn't take my blood because my iron was too high. So, but my last few blood tests, you know, my hormones have been all off because of menopause, <laughs> mental pause. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> I always call it mental pause because boy, it really caught me off guard mentally. <laughs> I feel like my brain's not working. <laughs> Sleep, insomnia, and all that stuff. It was pretty crazy. I'm kind of glad it's over with. <laughs> but still not thinking right still not sleeping right but yeah I'm hoping that they'll take it and maybe it'll kind of reset something yeah I don't know <laughs> I think it's pretty healthy to they say it's pretty healthy to mm -hmm. give blood every once in a while it kind of recirculates the blood throughout your system because you need to create new blood yeah. and, and we have a couple of people that we know that um, they have the Oh, gosh, what is it called? The Oh, I don't know. I know that we know some people who have underlying diseases. Yeah, they have to do the infusions. Yes, the they're like plasma infusions. Is yeah. that it? I, I'm not sure if it's plasma infusions, but it takes... Like thousands. A, yeah, 15,000 or more units of blood in order to do those infusions. So... Yeah. yeah, and it's it, not something... It made us more aware yeah. of more recently. to give all the time. It's not th you know. something we thought about all the time. I mean, I always, like, you know, thought, oh, I should give blood anyway because it's a good thing to do. But now that we know people who, right. who have, like, taught us about the, re like, you know, those statistics and why they need it, it's like, wow, we should, like, make it more of a, a point to get to the blood bank. Right, right. Okay, we have so like we're one minute. <laughs> go in and let's see if they'll take my blood. Yeah. <laughs> Given more than a gallon of blood. Three, four. Very cool. We're at the car wash again. Of course, we took it to Nally last time, so we got all kinds of bugs on the windows. Oh, has anyone ever watched the car wash movie? You know the one with the fish? <laughs> oh, yeah. The what the name that one was? The what's the guy's name? Doesn't he do the voice? You look like you're in a disco, Mary. Oh, <laughs> it's all the different colors. Is it Will? Will? What's his? Uh, Will Smith? Yeah. Doesn't he do the voice of the fish guy? Yeah. Who works at the car wash? <laughs> and there's like a shark. Yeah. I loved yeah. that movie when I was younger. Yeah. I have 
gonna watch it again. I keep thinking of the movie, I meant the movie, the song. It's like the end in Fish Tales or something? Um, I think it was just Shark called Tales. No. Maybe. I don't remember. It might be called Shark Tales or it might just be called Car Wash. Yeah, I don't know. Look it up. Whoa, it got noisy. <laughs> All the colors. Oh, it's called Shark Tail. Okay, you were right. <laughs> Maybe I should give blood more often. I might think better. See? <laughs> this movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you've never seen it, I suggest it. It's pretty good. Yeah. But every time we're in a car wash, it reminds me of the movie. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. All right, getting loud. At the farmer's market. Maybe I should take my sweater off. The sun's actually really hot. <laughs> Look at all the food. Everyone's getting lunch. Two sipping streams. <laughs> We're getting in line for some drinks. Ow. <laughs> sipping streams. Woo! Someone got stuck in the mud and they're pulling them out, or they're going to attempt to. Spring hazards. Yeah. <laughs> Don't park in muddy areas, people. Yeah. Because it's Alaska, there's a Facebook page called I'm Stuck, Come Pull Me Out. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, and you can actually get on there if you're stuck someplace and someone will come pull you out pretty much for free. Nice. You can make new friends that way. <laughs> go get stuck somewhere. <laughs> Here they go. Here they go. Is it going to work? Oh, no. They're pretty stuck. Oh, my gosh. They're not getting enough. Uh, they put it in reverse. Are they gonna... They're trying. Oh, oh, they're not going anywhere. They need to move their tires a little bit. They got their tires crooked. Yeah. Gonna try again. Is he gonna try again? I'm gonna I hope it doesn't break his car. No, it won't break his car. He's sliding on the gravel. That's okay. What's happening. I don't know how these things work. Ooh. Oh snap! Pretty close there. He's gonna make a run for it. This is making my arms hurt. I hope he doesn't like pull something off. He's gonna make a run for it. Right. That's what I, that's what I was saying. Uh -huh. Oh, it smells like kettle corn around here. It's amazing. It, it smells really good. It smells like summer. Yeah. People over there are like, we need some help. <laughs> there he goes. Oh, it got snapped off. Oh, okay. <laughs> At least it's just the rope. 
This is way more entertaining. <laughs> oh no. Oh look, and the guy was laying in the mud. So oh. put the rope on there too. He's all covered with mud. Oh no. I hope they get out at some point. They just need a bunch of people on the other end of the car pushing it too. So we just came from the farmer's market and we figured we'd stop by over at Kramer's Field because they're doing prescribed burns out here. And there they are, they're burning the fields. The firemen get to do, you know, some little lessons over here. It's pretty windy today, so they gotta really keep that under control. See how fast that's flaring up over there? Yeah, the ash from the fields and the burn make the soil more fertile. It puts nutrients back into the soil. So fires are natural, but when they're not, we can do them ourselves. So this, this place grows some of the best grass in Fairbanks. <laughs> I figured I would walk over this way because there's some cranes down here. Banking around in the field. A whole bunch of them, but somebody was walking in the field, so they all went around to the other side of the pond. I don't know if you can see them over there. Oh, I should have my camera on anti shake again. I always forget that. better out in the green grass there. <laughs> Again with the fix in the hair and the and the and the camera turned on because we're waving I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, and, and my hair is useless. <laughs> so our whole weekend kind of went south. <laughs> it, it got a little weird. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is my three-day weekend, and Bean, Bean doesn't like us talking to the camera. I'm, I'm. I'm gonna put this squeaky ball up here. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we we went to the farmers market and we. Did a bunch of running around. I filled up my car so I could take off to go to Denali in the morning. And we had kind of nixed the outdoor show. There was an outdoor show and um, they put two of them together. The, the home, home show. show. Yeah. Yeah. They put two of them together because it was going to be a big event at the fairgrounds instead of at the Carlson Center where it usually is. And um, yeah, we were going to do that in the morning and then... You know, right after that, head straight to Denali with the dogs. I got a, uh, a hotel that was dog friendly. Uh, it was uh, the White Moose Lodge we were going to stay at. And, and um, I came home and Mary went out to the car to get the mail. Yeah. And it was in the glove box and she didn't shut the glove box. So my... My brake lights were on and I thought, geez, I wonder if it's some kind of a warning that, you know, okay, you you're like your something? dome lights are on or, or something. But I thought that's an awful weird <laughs> warning thing. <laughs> but yeah, so we fiddled with it for a little bit and they went out and, and then I went to go get Heather and I came back, you know, get Heather from work and I came back and the brake lights were stuck on again. And this time they weren't going out. I, they were stuck, stuck on. Yeah. 
So I called the dealer, and the dealer, of course, they were going to close in like a half an hour, and they said everybody had gone home from the service department, and, and they called me on Monday. <laughs> I'm like, well, I can't leave my brake lights on, <laughs> you <Yeah>. know. <laughs> so I, I called um, Jiffy Lube, and, you know, because... I figured, well, maybe they've had this situation with lights before, you know, like maybe a light's burned out, the brake lights stay on or something. And they're like, well, no, I haven't ever heard of anything like that. And so we, we looked on Google, you know, which is what Jiffy Lube, Lube said, do Google it. Oh, she and wants it, to it's, be part of the sounds like it's an issue. <laughs> it's an issue with a Nissan. So hopefully on Monday they know what the issue is and they get it figured out. Oh, she knows the ball's up here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, so I can't go anywhere if my brake lights are stuck on. If it was just the back lights were stuck on, but it's not just the back lights, it's the brake lights are stuck on. No. So, no. you know, nobody would know if I'm hitting my brakes or, you know, there's a <laughs> What is this crazy gray-haired lady running around with her foot on the brakes? <laughs> you know. So we canceled our our trip to Denali. Um, the the hotel because I didn't cancel it by midnight last night or this morning. Um, there was like a non-refund policy if you didn't cancel it within 24 hours. Yeah. So or like the midnight before. Yeah, 24 hours. So, um, I actually called the owner first before I called the booking company and, um, the owner said, oh, it's okay. You know, we'll, we're full, full, we'll get it booked out. And, yeah. and I, I was like, all right. And, you know, so he said, well, I'll send you a confirmation when I get back through the booking company or, um, you know, confirmation of the, you know, cancellation. So I went through and I tried to cancel it they have like a a place on the booking company where you can you know cancel through a waiver with the owner and I did that so hopefully everything works out you know I don't know if, if they charge my card I guess I'll fight it yeah. um because because it'll be the booking company's fault not the own, yeah, the owner owners, of the lodge because the owner of the lodge said we could do it. Yeah, the owners sound like nice people. Yeah, so I'm sure they sound they like would very nice people. Out. Yeah. And I just looked on their website because I didn't research them before I booked it. I was just happy to find somebody open. There aren't too many places that are open yet because yeah. the it's the shoulder season and the park doesn't actually open for another week. I mean, open to tourists, whatever tourist season. Yeah. If that makes any sense. Maybe it's meant to be. I always think when things like this happen, it's maybe, you know, it's meant yeah. to be. The timing's just weird. <laughs> like, yeah. We were so sad because yeah. we could, you can only drive in to 30 mile until Wednesday. And, um, and then they open it, you know, or they start, they close it down, check the road. And I think starting the Monday after, you know, week from Monday, tomorrow they um open it for the tourist tour season so and then you can only go into where we went before the yeah. savage river you know and that that place gets busy everyone gets out and hikes there and there's a really tiny parking lot so <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah well people they let you park on the road so yeah. you can actually park on the road and still hike there sometimes but, it's still hard but to we find really wanted spot. to go because this is the time of year the all the bears I just know. woke up you know, so they're all seeing... wandering around on the roads. Yeah. yeah I was I was going to say um, there was uh, someone that I follow on Instagram who went to Seward recently and they have been posting um, like they went on a cruise and they saw all of the wildlife. So I was like, maybe yeah. this is just the time of year that wildlife come out. So, yeah, it's kind of sad. We're going to miss that because <laughs> we um, never see wildlife. <laughs> well, like very rarely. I, we were thinking about um, actually doing the bus tour to uh, Isleson. So, and that, that was another thing I, I told the owner. I said, if, if for some reason I can't get my booking fee back, you know, from the company, if maybe I can book for a later date, because we'll come out. 
and we'll use it, yeah. you know, because um, we're thinking about taking the tour bus to Eielson, you know, and when you take the tour bus, they always know where all the wildlife is. You know? Yeah, so. and we're not talking about Eielson Air Force Base. Oh, yeah. It's, it's an Eielson it's, Visitor Center. Yeah, in Denali. In National Denali. Park. Yeah, I think it's 40 miles in. I'm not sure how far it is in. Yeah. <laughs> I'll check and I'll put, I'll put it up here. <laughs> so long story short yeah. we can't go to denali because we're having car issues so we had to cancel our book yeah game. so um, that won't be on wednesday's video and today we did get our blood drawn at the blood bank yeah and Boo -boos. i have a little story to tell i took <laughs> off both my bandages so i had well except for this one i just this one yeah was, if you notice in the pictures mary had two bandages on <laughs> so, so what happened is like um, this one, the, like, there's, I don't know, multiple veins they can tap in your arm, right? And yeah. so it depends on, like, where you squeeze in the position of your arm, like, which one's most prominent and which one they can, like, tap into. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um, mine that was prominent was, like, way to the side here. And she, she got the needle in. It didn't hurt very much at all. But it was right next to the vein, so there was, like, no blood coming out right away. And she was like, well... <laughs> I'll have my uh, co-worker look at it because he's like working to become a doctor and he knows a little more about it. So he took a look and he kind of got it in and then the blood started going. But then um, he said, well, it's, it's starting to bruise pretty fast and we don't want any clotting happening, which could lead to like a couple other issues. So if you want, we could take it out right now and try the other arm. And I was like, go ahead. I mean, I'd rather not have issues in that arm, and, and but I still want to give blood. Yeah. So they took that one out and then they got they, some samples. So they got a little extra blood to they had started, do testing. They had started mine about the time they had started her second one at the same time. <laughs> yeah, so... so <laughs> we then, both finished at the same time. Then they tapped into this arm, and uh, this time the middle one showed up very prominently, and they were like, oh, perfect. And so um, that one worked right away, and it was filling up really mm. fast. It only took about, like, seven minutes to fill the bags, and she... She had to start closing the second bag quickly because she, she had a hard time closing the first <laughs> one because it filled up so fast. But, mm. um... Uh, I just have a little band-aid on this one because I, I just took the bandage off and it bled a little tiny bit, but I just checked and there's no more bleeding it because I did the, they tell you to put your arm over your head mm -hmm. and apply pressure for like a couple minutes and usually Probably that stops it. Probably just pulled the scab off when she pulled the bandage off. Yeah, so just in case put a band-aid on it because I was just yeah. going to like take a nap. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. yeah, those were today's events. It just and I got to give day. blood. I didn't know if they were going to take mine or not, but they took it. Yeah, it was, overall it was a really good experience. Yeah. Everyone was friendly. We got yeah. we got some popcorn. <laughs> they were offering us a whole box of mm -hmm. um, Girl Scout cookies because they had some, and we were like, "Oh, we probably <laughs> don't need that." But yeah, thank yeah, you. Yeah. <laughs> it was we pretty funny. Girl Scout cookies. I've yeah. been I've been kind of stressed out this week, so my diet's been uh, off again. I know when, when the uh, <laughs> car was having issues just a minute ago, she was like, <laughs> she was like running around the house, kind of screaming. She's like, "Oh my God, Mary! Like, do you understand what's happening?" I was like, uh, "I think so, but I'm just gonna stay out of this." <laughs> yeah, she gets a little, she gets uh, on edge. Well, I didn't know <laughs> if we were gonna get charged for the booking because. This has happened to us before where we've made reservations yeah. and then I ended up with, uh, I don't know, was it like a tire issue, something. We were, oh yeah, because we got stuck. We we blew two tires. Um, oh, we went to this place called Kennecott, um, yeah. McCarthy slash Kennecott. Mm -hmm. They're like right next to each other. Yeah, and it's like 40 miles of dirt road and everybody tells you bring extra tires. Yeah. So I think you and, enter McCarthy and then you go down yeah. this dirt road to get to Kennecott, which mm -hmm. is an old mine, but it's not paved at all. And they tell you to go slow. Did you say that? Yeah. Oh, well, I don't know. Oh, well, they tell you to go slow, but we were like, it was getting late in the day. I think we left late or something. We were all tired. We just wanted to get to our camp spot. It was like close to 4th of yeah. July. We were right outside of town. Like, we were only like so a close. mile outside of town. <laughs> and some and, a tire blew. Yeah. And I got out to look at the tire and I'm like, oh, well, it's just the one tire. And, and then I went to go back to my driver's seat and I heard <laughs> and then the other tire on the other side blew too. So we, we oh, it was a big fiasco. Aww. So we kind of got stuck. <laughs> Kip is resting he's, his face on the chair just looking us. at him. He just went... <laughs> <laughs> I 
He's so cute. He always cute. talks to that. I was like, what are you doing? I never see him do that. That's funny. He's right. listening to us. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to make another long story here. But yeah. i got to get the vlog done. Another long story short, we tend to have car issues. And then yeah. these things, yeah. these things and happen. So Yeah. And that one, that was a 300 and some dollar bill there for that room There was only one, one car guy in the whole place. <laughs> and he happened to have the, the correct tires. Well, the, that, no, the bill wasn't for the tires. He only charged me like 60 bucks for two tires. Yeah, that wasn't bad. He was super nice. <laughs> no, but the hotel that we were supposed to stay at the oh. on the way back was a $300, you know, something for the night. I knew she was angry about some bill, but I was yeah. younger then, so I, I didn't know yeah, what it was. I thought it was the tires. Yeah, like years ago. And, yeah. And, uh, you know, I just didn't have the money to pay for all of that stuff. You know, it was crazy. You know, but she finally did reimburse me for the hotel stay. So, uh, it was, yeah, I actually knew her from, from Mary's high school. Oh. So, yeah, <laughs> really nice lady, too. But There's uh, always miscommunication. Yeah, Things happen. Yeah, yeah. Alrighty, so I'm going to get the vlog up yeah. and... <laughs> and and you heard all of our woes. And <laughs> I mean, it's been a great day. It's just yeah, yeah, it was fun. And I will yeah. probably because because um, if we go in the morning to the home show, um, I don't think it's not even a few miles down the road, straight shot kind of thing. So I I think I'll be good to go to that with um, my brake lights. So. And then we're going to do Sunday dinner, which we weren't going to do, you know, with the family. And, yeah. So we'll have something for Wednesday video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But now i got an extra day to do the Monday measures. I was going to do them both tonight. Oh, yeah, and, now you don't and, have to do it. You know, well, I started, you know, like know, three hours ago. But then I, the last three hours I've been dealing with the car and the, and the booking and, you know, trying to find some kind of car guy in town that knew something. Yeah, so, <laughs> so I got the extra day to do the Monday measures. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's, I guess that's a, uh, a plus. Yeah. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Hope you all are having a, a good weekend. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully your plans are going to plan. Our yeah. plans have changed. Yeah. They eased up on all of the, the regulations here. Yeah, so um, if you're vaccinated. If you're vaccinated, you don't have to wear your masks. In most places. In most places. It depends on where you go. Yeah. But. Yeah, like the blood bank, they'd still want you to wear it there. And then, you know, like probably any kind of medical facility. Yeah. I know at my work, they're still going to be requiring them there. Oh, she got um, her vaccination. I'm probably going to get mine pretty soon here because yeah. they're and doing we, walk -ins We asked there. because before you had to be 30 days outside of your vaccination in order to give blood. Which but is now, why I waited. Now there's no limit. Yeah. So, so now I can just get it any time and not have to worry about like how long it is until my next uh, um, blood, blood draw. donation. Yeah. yeah. So, all right. So, yeah, let us know how how your uh, state, country, whatever, how things are going. I know, you know, here our, you know, the CDC, you know, lifted lifted it. So it's for pretty much everybody. Yeah. So, yeah. Pretty cool. Yep. See you in the next one. Bye. See you in the Monday measure. Thanks but, for watching. But, but yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and watch Wednesdays. You'll see what we actually did do yeah. <laughs> over the weekend. I know, weekend. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>